Believe it or not, Canada has produced some NFL legends. Top three wide receiver Chase Claypool was born in British Columbia. Who could forget in Keel Harry, born in Toronto? On a more serious note, there are actually some studs that are from Canada. So John Mechie was actually born in Taiwan, but then his family moved to Ontario. Javon Holland, born in British Columbia. Chubba Hubbard, born in Edmonton. It's not a lot, but it's more than I expected. But today, we'll be taking over as GM of the Los Angeles Chargers. We'll be relocating the franchise to Toronto and bringing Canada their first ever Super Bowl. I chose the Chargers because honestly, why is this a team? Like, why is this a team? Have you ever met a Chargers fan, like straight up? Actually. Now keep in mind, starting as the Chargers doesn't matter because we'll be restarting the entire NFL with a fantasy draft to kick off this roster. I mean, the Toronto Raptors won an NBA Finals pretty recently. I don't see why the NFL couldn't ever do this. Like, it seems like it could happen. Hey, and the Toronto squad gets round one pick three. Who are we taking here? Who embodies Canada? Now, obviously, none of those guys I mentioned were like round one picks. I feel like Josh Allen is a pretty good like. That's it. He could. He would. He would fit in nicely. In Canada. Maybe Joe Burrow, probably Herbert too. Dude, oh my god. You want to talk about a guy who's going to fit into Canada? It's Brock Purdy. He's probably the fucking national. Dude, I bet you people in Canada think Brock Purdy's the greatest thing that's ever happened. We're going Brock Purdy. I know that this is a total reach. I don't care. Anna Frey legacy inbound. He's 23. He's superstar. He's going to be a 99 in three years. Toronto. Hey, listen, we're starting a brand new squad in Canada. All right. We got to play this one. We got to play this one smart. I'm going to pick up Minka Fitzpatrick here. I don't use him in franchise very often. So let's bring him to Canada. It's way too early to be grabbing Javon Holland, but I'm going to do it anyway since he's actually a Canadian. And, and you know what? It's really not way too early. He's 84 in true value. We got him at 67. So Minka will probably move to strong safety or is he already strong safety? I don't remember, but regardless, both of them will be starters. I'm going to pick up Vita Vea next. I love a D tackle with abilities, but if this is like a five, six year dynasty, Vita Vea is going to probably not going to be around too long. Three years should be really good. Dude, literally my absolute favorite halfback in franchise, Devon A. Chan. True value isn't there. There's so many good halfbacks in this game, but none of them are as fast as this man. I can't wait to use him. Brock Purdy and Devon A. Chan in the backfield. That's it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna pick up Joey Porter. I'm getting a lot of young guys on this team. We're gonna develop really well. Jeremiah Wusu Karamoa. To see this dude is so good. He doesn't really belong on the Canadian squad because I think he's from Ghana. I did an Africa rebuild and he was like the cornerstone of our team. Welcome to Canada, buddy. You better you better learn Canadian real quick. Me how, buddy. The Canadians want to be American so bad that they literally just speak American. Yeah, yeah, Matt. Just run with that, Matt. See how that one goes over. You know, I'm gonna pick up Dalton Schultz at tight end. 84 overall, 27. I'm reaching a little bit right now. I'm not gonna lie. All right, we gotta go grab. We gotta go grab Claypool. Honestly, let's grab Chase Claypool and let's just let's just let the rest of this be decided by fate, man. Let's get Chase Claypool. You have to still be in here. There's no way you have been taken already. I refuse to believe that. Can I sort by like your name? Claypool is a 72 overall, 25 year old with normal dev. My honestly, my goal is to turn Chase Claypool into an actual top three wide receiver. Like unironically. He's Canadian. It's the Canada rebuild. It should be possible. It shouldn't be that hard. I don't think. All right, my final selection by myself is going to be Kyir Elam here. We got Kyir Elam and Joey Porter. So our corners aren't great, but they're going to develop well. And you know what? Uh, I'm going to let our head coach, America's little brother, decide for himself on this. What is this Canadian roster looking like? So Brock Purdy at quarterback. We got Achan and Dobbins. Got a little running back duo here. I like that. Tim Patrick, Josh Palmer, Chase Claypool. Yeah, our wide receivers are dog shit. I'm going to turn Chase Claypool into an absolute freak show. Got Garrett Bowles, Edward. Karis, Skolinski, and Munford. Offensive line is trash. Definitely will be targeting that in the upcoming drafts. Uh, Schultz and Mercedes Lewis ain't bad, so we should have a good defense. Yeah, Minka, Nasty, Javon. Oh, they drafted Jenkins. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense here. I think the CPU didn't notice that we were going to move Javon Holland. Going to move Javon Holland here over to strong safety, first and foremost. Although I feel like maybe Minka's a better strong safety. Let's just try this like this. So, Javon Holland, strong safety, Minka, free safety, Porter, Elam, got Lewis, Dietrich Wise, Vita Vea, Manuel Agba, Eric Kendrick, Zaire Franklin, Karamoa, David Ajabo, and Leo Chanel. Love Leo Chanel. This is an interesting team. This will be a very interesting rebuild for me. I'm not familiar with any of these guys. I've never used Achan on a rebuild, only offline rebuilds, and I've never used Brock Purdy. Never used Dalton Schultz, and I certainly have never used Chase Claypool. All right, let's make some adjustments. One offensive playbook I've never used is Cincinnati Bengals. I kind of want to try it out. It is a multiple zone run scheme. 
Okay. Multiple zone runs. It's a 79% scheme fit for us. And I don't want to run a base 3-4. Actually, maybe I do. Maybe I actually do. I'm going to run Tampa Bay. I think they're a 3-4. Where's TB? Yeah, TB is a 3-4. The multiple 3-4, not a base 3-4. Is there a difference? We're just gonna run base 3-4 on this. 92% scheme fit. Okay. Only real adjustments I need to make at sub linebacker. Instead of Eric Kendricks right here, I'm gonna put one of our safeties. I'm gonna go with Javon Holland because he's younger. Talk about this a lot, but if you put a safety at sub linebacker, they will get a lot of dev create upgrades. And then slot corner is pretty important. They end up getting a lot of reps. Um, Jordan Lewis is a six-year player. Not really the guy I want here. I'm gonna go with Joey Porter. Just let him get as many reps as he can so that he can start to get some upgrades. But dude, this core of Porter, Elam, those guys are gonna get so good my rush left end is ojabo i like that he definitely he definitely could get some nice upgrades if he plays well there my rush right end manual agba i'm actually gonna move Derek call there eventually i'd like to get somebody better maybe we draft a good edge rusher kind of need like a speed rushing outside linebacker like a tj watt not gonna trade or do anything right now just gonna um rock with the team we got see how we do in this opening season and the only thing i need to move is slot wide receiver i want to make sure the right guy is getting as many reps as he can i'm actually gonna make it chase claypool i'm gonna do everything i can to make chase claypool an actual god i I want to win a Super Bowl with a top three receiver, Chase Claypool. All right, boys. Season one for the Canadian. Oh, shit. You know, Canadian rebuild until I relocate to Canada, damn it. What am I doing? We are not the Chargers. I apologize, gentlemen. All right, let's manage this team. So we are relocating out of SoFi. SoFi's already got a team in it. Who gives a shit if we re relocate out of SoFi? All right, we're headed to Toronto, Canada, where the Raptors fans can have another American sport to look at. Let's go, baby. Huge market, loyal personality. Toronto has no shortage of culture and excitement for sports, including football what's good for canadians we need something with snow something that embodies canada is there is there a gigantic pussy a logo gigantic pussy i'm just kidding guys i actually love canada i don't know why i'm talking shit i don't know what i'm doing this for i feel like huskies is probably the best one party energetic and athletic huskies have a spirit that can't be broken lumberjacks would be pretty sick too i feel like huskies or lumberjacks a pretty good toss-up snowhawks makes sense a little bit too hey google can you flip a coin for me heads is huskies Tails is Lumberjacks. It landed on heads. Heads is Huskies. I like this. I like this a lot. Dude, come on. We are in Canada. You know they're going big. We're going with the basic futuristic stadium. Toronto, Canada, the den. That's so fucking sick. Woo! The Huskies, baby. Sick relocation. Sick relocation. Honestly, so dope. Okay, we do have some offers on Marcus Epps, which I would like to get some value out of because we are not going to use him, but those are trash offers. Not even going to consider it. Come to me with a real fucking offer if you want me to consider it. All right, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Are we gonna make the playoffs this season? I feel like this is more of a, this is a three-year timeline team, right? Because Brock Purdy, Devon A. Chan, Chase Claypool, obviously, Dalton Schultz. These are guys that can develop. Joey Porter, Kyir Elam, Javon Holland. Yeah, actually, this is a developing team for sure. Interested to see how uh, Cincinnati Bengals playbook treats me though. Holy shit, we are really a young team. I'm sorry, Canada. I mean, in fairness, I was reaching on players just to like build the team pretty cool, but I expected this to go a lot better. 4 and 13. Yikes. All right, let's see about that uh, offensive playbook, though. Cincinnati Bengals got Brock Purdy, 3,800 passing yards, 25 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Receiving Josh Palmer was our biggest guy with five touchdowns. Claypool at 815 and 10 touchdowns, though, so that's good for him. Don't think he's going to get a depth trade upgrade for it, but he should definitely get some stats. Defensively, our best guy was Jeremiah Wusu Karamoa, one of my all time favorite players in, in franchise duty. Such a beast. Joey Porter with 94 tackles. That's because of slot corner right there. Three interceptions. Good season for him, but we are not generating enough of enough pass rush right now. So we're getting good pass rush from Vita Vea, but Agba getting five sacks. Like if that's somebody who's who's a lot better, so much better numbers there. Derek Hall could barely get home. Ojabo got home one and a half times. Uh, these are on a good amount of downs played too. Like 602, 823 for Ojabo. And obviously Vita Vea is in like the entire game. Yeah, we do expect a little bit more out of there. So that's a, that's a pretty bad season. Not sure we're going to get too much out of this, like, dev trait-wise. I think we just need to switch up the offensive playbook and just continue to develop. That's really what this team's looking for, and then hopefully having a good uh, a good draft here. Well, the good news is we are going to have an excellent draft pick here, so let's hope that there's a good prospect for us. What I'm looking for is an elite edge rusher linebacker. And right now, I'm seeing Aaron Love, left outside linebacker out of Louisville, who is a top five candidate power rusher. That is, that's kind of exactly what I'm looking for. I don't know for a top three pick, though. Next option is Amani Finney out of Mississippi. Mississippi State. He's a speed rusher. So both these guys look like good options. There's also Ben Manley, speed rusher. We have some good options. We're going to be all right. So obviously we missed the playoffs here. Pretty down season. I am going to switch the, the scheme here. 25 and 12 on Brock Purdy. I just feel like that just can't be it. 
Let's try out Buffalo Bills. I've used it once before. It's a multiple power run. Or no, power run vertical. Vertical power run. Maybe not. You know what I'm actually going to try? What I've never tried that we can try for the second year is Atlanta Falcons. You know why I like Atlanta Falcons? Because they always end up with a 99 overall Bijan. And like down the line, they end up being really good. So kind of hoping it's a zone run West Coast scheme. So we need West Coast zone run. 62% scheme fit. Hoping this way we can get Devon Achan up to really good numbers and maybe ball out in the process. We've got to head up to the draft though. Now, since this is a fantasy, there's no free agency in year one. Free agency will become a factor in maybe years three, four, five, six. Uh, but for right now, we're just headed to the draft. We've got a high pick since we played so poorly this year and um, hoping we can get a good edge rusher to uh, bolster that defense. I think the offense will take care of itself. Schultz, Purdy, Chan, Claypool. Those guys will just develop. All right, let's do it, baby. We got round one, pick three. Yo. All right, so we really have our pick of the litter here when it comes to edge rushers. Um, there's a money. Oh no, actually that top five linebacker was taken at two. Ooh. Okay, so we don't have the pick of the litter, but we have two really good options. That's Amani Finney and Ben Manley. Ben Manley looks a little more Canadian. He's white, guys. He's white. Do you get the joke? I'm not going to lie. Amani Finney looks like an absolute savage. He has like eight bullet points of player notes, which generally is good. But what's more important here is great speed, elite jumping, elite acceleration. And what's even better is he's a speed rusher. So he has good finesse moves. He's really fast. He's got elite acceleration and elite jumping. This guy was built to be a speed rusher. Block shedding's good. A finesse moves. He even has B power and A pursuit. This is virtually a guaranteed hidden dev. I don't want to say guaranteed. He's a hidden dev. Oh, he's a freak. Imani Finney out of Mississippi State, bro. 84 speed, 87 jumping, 91 excel. Exactly what a 3-4 defense needs. Um, so we don't have to have Ojabo going after him anymore or Derek Hall. Let's get Imani Finney cooking, man. This is perfect. We also have round two pick three. Um, I really could take an O-lineman here. We definitely need an O-lineman. Let's take a look at Darrell Powell out of Auburn. Elite change of direction, good strength. Hey, this is a toss-up. Marginal, marginal and any physicals are not great. I'm kind of worried he's probably going to be normal dev. What about Joe Douglas? Joe Douglas, righty out of Michigan, poor strength. Never going to cut it for an offensive lineman. I do want to take a line here, though. I might just trade this pick away. I don't have anything good. Let's trade this pick away. Let's see if we can get... This is a high second-round pick. We might be able to get a first-rounder in an upcoming year. Because uh, I just don't think the value is there for us right now. Let's see if we can get a first-rounder in an upcoming year. So, as we get the we get the Buccaneers first next year. You know, we could get a big haul, but I think the Titans are kind of dog shit. If that's why they're offering just the first. I'm going to try this. I'm trading away my second pick three for just the Titans first-round pick next year. Or was that 26? Maybe two years from now. I don't know. Whatever. I made the decision. I'm happy with it. I wouldn't mind picking up a D-tackle here if this guy... Ooh, look at Javier Nails in the third round. He's only got two goods. He's got an elite. Everything else is great. A finesse moves. Javier Nails might be hidden down. He's honestly a dog as far as D-tackles are concerned. 86 excel, 90 strength, 74 speed. Uh, but he's normal dev out of Oklahoma State. I'm going to skip to the end of this draft. Uh, I might have to reset my Madden. It is tweaking. Drum roll, please. Let's see what Amani Finney is about. Are you going to fit into Canada, my guy? Ooh, Amani. F Ooh. Javier Nails was a nasty pickup. A 74 overall in the third round. Non-hidden devs kind of, like, it's kind of weird, honestly. Uh, we got Overstreet, Joseph, Klein, and Sharp. None of these guys are any good. But Amani Finney, 74 overall, 84 speed, 91 excel. Dude's a beast. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted. Taking a look at the entire class. Yeah, you can tell we're on uh, normal here. Best player in the class is 79 overall, Bryce Kendricks from West Virginia. Dexter Rainey, Brian Baker. We definitely made the right call. There wasn't a significantly better linebacker, it doesn't look like. There's a middle linebacker, Paul Britt, who ended up being a stud 89 speed middle linebacker but we did get okay we tied for the best outside linebacker in the class connor monk in the third round damn some nice steals but hey we got exactly what we wanted there's no complaints here all right boys here's the year two huskies claypool got star dev so good for him uh nobody else seemed to get a dev trade upgrade though unless josh palmer was normal but i don't recall defensively minka still superstar javon holland elam porter we got ojabo and then of course amani finney now is our outside linebacker and i made an adjustment i made jeremiah wusu karamoa our mlb1 instead of outside linebacker Kind of makes sense since he's a pass coverage guy. 
He's going to be amazing. I love Owusu Karmo. I, I expect him to be a superstar next season. And then Chanel also got a dev trait upgrade, and Vita Vea actually regressed to star already. So that is a big bummer. That's going to take a hit on his pass rush capabilities, but he's still a 92 overall. All right, year two. Let's keep developing Buffalo Bills offense and Tampa Bay defense. Let's try this out. Let's go, Huskies. Love to see a good improvement, baby. We got 100 mil in cap. We went 7 and 10. In fact, almost the entire AFC West went 7 and 10. Oh, yeah, the Toronto team is in the AFC West. I don't make the rules. Looks like uh, we might have done better with this offensive playbook. Brock Purdy's 10th in the NFL in passing yards, 28 and 6. Big improvement for him. That's a good season. A Chan went 11, 70 and 6. This is on Atlanta. I honestly expected him to get more touches. 11, 70 and 6 is Still really, really good though. Playpool, 984, 10 touchdowns. Schultz, 819 and 9 touchdowns. Very solid. Defensively, look at Karamoa, man. 138, 4, 3 interceptions. Really nice work. Yeah, we fell off in the sacks department. We have to get on the quarterback. How is Imani Finney not getting home? He was definitely put in a position to get home. Paramoa is the bright spot. Dude, I'm about to switch to a 4-3. I think we do. Javon Holland had a, a really good amount of tackles, too, and an interception. Three interceptions out of Paramoa, two out of Jordan Lewis. Nice. Porter had one. Kendricks had one. Let's take a look at free agency here. So there's a 25-year-old Dalton Kincaid. I've got the other Dalton, so we're good. Cooper Cup's in here. I wouldn't hate some O-line help to be honest, but these guys are so old. Who's the youngest guy we could realistically pick up? Free agency is just too weak. There's nothing in here that we could realistically use. It'll get better. Let's hang on to our cap space. Here we go, y'all. Round one, pick eight. The draft is always the most exciting part. Questions, what do we need? Honestly, we still have a really tough offensive line. I think our wide receivers are developing. Our backfield's great. I could use help on the D-line. There is Rich Wheeler, right tackle here. Yo, holy shit. Elite, 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 elite. Great strength, good change of direction. How do I pass on that? Uh, unless Cassidy Newsom's a guy. Okay, Cassidy Newsom's actually insane too, but I can't take another outside linebacker. We just took Amani. Damn, Rich Wheeler's a god. 6'5 tackle out of OK State. He has to be hidden dev. 90 strength, 86 excel. He's got 77 speed. This guy's a freak. Probably going to move him to guard. I think I need a little more help at the guard position, but oh my god, that guy's a stud. All right, round two, pick eight is up next. Yeah, so that first round pick we traded for is actually next year. So we're good for right now. Emmett Haynes out of Northwestern. He's a lefty. He's 6'1". Stats are okay. Nothing to go crazy about. Matt Winters, wide receiver out of Oregon. Nothing crazy there either. Kareem Tarrant out of Stanford. No, I really could double up O-line. I don't want to draft too many O-linemen, though. I do this sometimes. Yo, those O-linemen are crazy. I'm going to take Emmett Haynes out of Northwestern. I don't need a corner too badly, but I like how he looks. 90 speed, 90 jumping, 90 excel, normal dev. Probably won't make, probably won't be an impact player on this team, but we'll see. Can't rule him out. I wouldn't hate a tight end, I'm not gonna lie. Adam Kovacs, Luke Scott. Luke Scott out of North Carolina. Here's a right guard, Jarius Trent, with elite agility and great strength and great acceleration. Is this an O-line draft for me? Hidden dev. Sometimes it feels like the only positions I can correctly draft are offensive linemen. 89 strength, 83 excel, an agile right guard. All right, our, our offensive line's great now. We have shored up the issue that we used to have with our offensive line. At this point, it's just getting stud players uh, to fill in everything else. Adam Kovac is still available. So is Brian Gabriels. Kovacs with elite. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a shot on him with elite acceleration. He could be hidden dev. Adam Kovacs. Not going to cut it. And I'll let the CPU close out 5th, 6th, and 7th. Hey, dude, not a bad draft at all. So Rich Wheeler was a 74 overall. Haynes was a 70. That was a bit of a whiff. But Trent was a 73. So really good draft here. And the CPU actually got me a 71 overall tight end in the 6th round, which I was looking for. And he's hitting dev. Steve McLean. I love that. I was looking for depth at a uh, tight end. So that's perfect. Okay, let's take a look at the entire class. How strong was this class? Highest overall was a 79, then it's 78, 78, 78, and a bunch of 77s. Another relatively weak class here, but Matt Spencer is a dog. All right, good work. All right, year three, some good things that we're seeing here. Dalton Schultz, superstar now. I'm seeing a lot of blue, which means a lot of hidden devs. You'd love to see that. Chase Claypool, though, regressed back to normal dev. Will we ever turn Chase Claypool? into a top three wide receiver. That is the real question here. Uh, offensive line, I love that we got two hidden devs here. Karras and Edwards can hold it down, and then Bulls, still pretty solid. Defensively, Vita Vea got his superstar status back. That's awesome. Derek Hall, Ojabo are our left and right end. Uh, Amani Finney, star, Karamoa, superstar, Chanel, star, Holland, Elam, 
Porter. Keep in mind that Amani Finney is our rush right end, so he still should be generating some pressure. Hopefully getting the quarterback more than he did last season. All right, y'all. Season three. We got to bring Toronto a bowl. Year three. We got to get over the hump, dude. Year three, six and 11. Or no, seven and 10. Never mind. Sorry. I read it says the Raiders. So we did as good as we did last season. Hopefully statistically a little bit better. This season, Brock Purdy is fourth in the NFL in passing yards. He's throwing a lot of interceptions, though. 33 and 14. But 4,300, that's a good improvement. Chan getting 1,004 touchdowns. J.K. Dobbins has 10 touchdowns. That is a problem. He must be my power halfback. I got to get him subbed out of there. Palmer, 1,200. Claypool, 1,211. Claypool may get a depth trade upgrade for that, so that's good. Schultz, off year, and uh, not using the backup tight end at all, but that's okay. Karamoa with a yo. That's, that is a big, big, big tackle number. He's getting an upgrade for sure. Nine TFLs, two sacks, an interception, two forced fumbles. We got three interceptions out of Javon and two out of Minka, two out of Emmett Haynes, the uh, corner that we recently just drafted. Six and a half sacks out of Vita Vea, four and a half Ojabo, four and a half Amani Finney, four and a half Dietrich Wise. All across the board on the sacks, we really can't we can't get to the quarterback as much as I'd like to, but that's okay. I mean, we don't have like a, a Nick Bosa or Micah Parsons, so it's going to be hard to get to the quarterback that much. Overall, I'm happy and we still have so much cap, so I think this offseason could be really good. One thing I got to do right now, though, I got to change my, th my third down running back and my power halfback because Dobbins is snaking touchdowns from in right now, and that is not good. Yep, he's in as my power halfback. Shit. It's actually a bummer. All right, no worries. Solid season. Let's check in on free agency. All right, free agency. We still got a lot of cap. There's guys like Bakhtiari who'd be nice for a season, I guess, but I don't know if that's really worth it. Milano would be nice. Daxton Hill is available. We've got great safeties. I can't see us doing that. J.K. Dobbins is walking. That's fine. We don't need you, buddy. And Scherf, kind of like him. Anyone young and disappointing free agency? I can't really use any of this. You know, I will sign Bakhtiari. I'm going to sign Bakhtiari to a one-year deal. We'll see if he takes it. Just because we have so much cap, we might as well boost the offensive line for a really good season here. Not sure that offer is going to get him to bite, though. Let's give him something a little juice here. I will end up moving somebody else out of position. Let's let's just check this. He didn't bite. That's okay. There's a different offensive line. Maybe we grab Brandon Scherf for a year. This might even be easier because he already kind of wants to sign with us. This will be a little less expensive. 82 overall guard just for one little season here. Beautiful. So we get Brandon Scherf for a season. Uh, bolster our O-line for one season and then he'll, he'll, he'll go be a family man or something. That works for me. Now, I think in this upcoming draft, we're most likely going to make a trade here. This is the draft that I have two first round picks in. I traded away that second rounder in the very first year. With two first round picks, we can make a lot happen. Yeah, I tell you what though, before this draft, Brock Purdy, superstar X Factor. Chase Claypool, I'm still trying, buddy. I'm trying my heart out. I'm gonna make this work. Dalton Schultz and McLean looking good. New offensive lines looking good. I'm glad we got Scherf because he's an 84 overall there at center. And defensively, I told you, bro. I told you we get him to X Factor. Owusu Karmo is looking great. Porter, Elam looking great. Javon Holland gets superstar too. We're just not quite good enough. Like we're not quite a high enough overall to make a playoff push, but we're on the brink. I think we try and make a really big trade here. The question is, who are we looking for? I'm looking for probably an elite edge rusher. Unfortunately, Madden is kind of one-dimensional. If you watch all of my rebuilds, you understand that a lot of times I am looking for an elite edge rusher to take the team to the next level. It's kind of, it's true in real life too. Like getting an elite edge rusher is so important, but it's going to cost us a lot. It is going to cost us a lot. Let's get Dexter Rainey. He actually won Defensive Rookie of the Year in the first year of this league. Dexter Rainey is an 89 overall. Two years left on his contract, and he's a superstar. Good thing is he's not a 90 yet, and he's not an X-Factor yet, so he might be a little bit easier to attain than normal. We have two first-round picks. One's a pick 14, one's a pick 30. Let's offer pick 30 and pick 46, and let's see if that's enough. It's damn close. It really is damn close. Let's offload our left end, who we actually technically have none. Um, we're using Derek Hall right now, so I guess I'll move Derek Hall, and we're getting there. It's going to cost a few more draft picks, but we're getting there. Let's give him our third and our fourth this year. First, second, third, and fourth. Oh, he's so close. Will the fifth, will the fifth push him? And I'll retain my round one pick 14. Oh my God, it's so close. That's crazy. All right, you need next year's round four. Absolute hall of picks and Derek Hall. It's two different hall, hall and hall, whatever. Dexter Rainey, 89 overall superstar right end. Welcome to the team, buddy. All right, so we are going to make Dexter Rainey our starting right end as well as our rush right end. So rush left end is Amani Finney, exactly how I want it. Rush right end is no longer Ojabo, but it's Dexter Rainey. 
All right, round one, pick 14. This is virtually our only useful pick in this draft, so let's make it count. Lots of good quarterbacks. That's not us. We have Brandon Scherf at center, so we don't actually have an F at center. What are we going to need? I think I'm going to take Jamichael Boone here. I'm al I am almost wanted to trade this away, but Jamichael Boone with elite speed, elite change of direction. I think this is worth taking a shot on and him being hidden, Dev. Please. Blue, 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 blue. Let me see blue. It's lagging like hell. Let me see blue. Holy shit, it's lagging so bad. Blue! That guy's a monster. Holy shit. A 95 speed hidden dev corner out of Washington. He's got the cornrows and everything. 95 change direction, 87 jumps, a little low. A 95 speed hidden dev corner is... Hey, we made our pick count. That is the one that we got from the Titans. Yeah, the Titans gave us that a while back, and it turns out they're still pretty mid because they had round one pick 14. Ooh, look at Jamichael Boone. Jamichael Boone's a 76 overall. Insane pickup right there. Cleary, Harris, Buckner, those guys are absolute super hot ass. Uh, but hey, really excited about my pickup. Best player in the class, the 82 overall center, Jalen Stuckey. And then it's Keith Knox, a halfback. But dude, we absolutely killed it with that pick. That was... Such a good one. Jermichael Boone out of Washington. 95 speed, 76 overall corner. Beautiful. All right. I got to say, I'm feeling really good about the team this season. We're still at this wide receiver drought. I don't know if I'll ever get Chase Claypool where I want, but a chance up to a 93. Purdy's an X factor. Schultz is a superstar. Offensive line looks great. There's a lot of morale on this team. And then we just got Dexter Rainey, Minka, Javon Holland, Jermichael Boone, who... 77 overall, hidden dev. And then Karamoa, Finney, Chanel. Team looks really good, really well-rounded. Hoping we can make our first playoff push in this season right here. Look at this! 11-6 and six season, the Raiders went 2-15, and 15, but the Broncos and Chiefs went 13-4. and four. AFC West is insane. Take a look at the stats around the league, though. We must have had a good season. Purdy, only 3,906 yards, but he worked on those interceptions. 31-3, great season for him. A-chan. Damn! 17 touchdowns, 14-64. He killed it. Claypool, 11-62 and 10. Dude, I'm trying, Claypool. I'm doing everything I can to make you good, and you're just not getting there. Uh, Karamoa, 127, two interceptions. We had four out of Javon Holland, four out of Porter, two out of Minka, two out of Epps, and one out of Jamichael Boone. Still not great in the sacks department. Team leader had six. It is what it is. I'm, I'm about over it at this point. I don't know if we're going to get there. Jamichael Boone, though, 98 tackles, an interception. Uh, pass deflection. Nice work. Joy Porter Jr., a forced fumble, five pass deflections, two interceptions. Really good season for him, too. Well, you know what? I do want to play this wild card playoff because I want to get in a couple of reps of this team. I'm going to play a few snaps on offense and defense as the Toronto Huskies taking on the Patriots. But I honestly don't think this is our Super Bowl year. Straight up, we're just not high enough overall. We're an 86 overall. We just, I don't know. I mean, it's certainly possible, but we're going to run into the powerhouses and get smacked around, I think. Glock, Purdy, and the Huskies unis. Dude, Huskies unis look so dope. I'm not going to lie. All right, second and seven. What do we want to do here? Brock Purdy's going to roll out. Oh, we got some time. Let's make a play, Brock. Oh, that would have been sick. Who are all the players on this lineup? So we have a dude, third and seven with A-chan is actually probably a halfway decent run here. Just because he's so fast. Oh my God, no way we get the first on this. Run dot, 14 yards. We're trying to get out of the pocket. Getting in the way, just barely. Brock Purdy's kind of fast, man. He's deceptive. All right, second and 10. Maybe we get Claypool some reps, you know? Nah, let's just take the dig. Let's be smart. Let's read the defense. Third and three. Let's get a little handoff. RPO alert bubble. Maybe not a handoff. Oh no, hand it off, hand it off. There we go. And get it. Fourth and one. Same play. Same play. Let's go, HN. I know you're not really a power back, but I believe. Let's go, HM! Beautiful. Three rushes, 27 yards. Yeah, dude, I think our lack of an elite wide receiver is holding this team back, though. I think we, at some point, we have to give up on Chase Claypool. It's sad to say, but it's true. Hey, we got our backup tight end. Steve McLean is in. A lot of the backups are in. I think the starters got a little tired, but hey, we got a nice little check down. We whiff. Come on, Purdy. Third and 10. Right over the middle is McLean. Let's go, baby. It's a tough first drive. We're struggling a little bit. Hammond's in. McCain's in. Harris is in. Ooh, you're there. The backup running back, Hammond. He's little. Second and two. All right, let's get the starters back in. Let's make a big play here. Gonna go inside zone to Devon H. Dude, he's so fast that I feel like I could just bounce this to the edge, right? But not quite. Hey, we got two yards on that. If I had gone vertical, I think I'd get it the first time, but whatever. Let's go, HN. Let's go, HN. Push, push, push. HN! Okay. We got it. Here we go. First and goal. First and goal. There's HN. He's not in. Oh my God, the Patriots are fighting, dude. Pin pull sweep. A goaded play. Pin pull sweep is a goaded play. They don't know about that. Maybe they do. No way. No way. 
A-Chan! You're a god! You're actually a god, Devon A-Chan. <laughs> Shit, that was crazy. 14 to 0, 14 to 7, 21 to 7. Oh, I wanted to play defense. All right. Dude, I think Devon A-Chan is going to cook him because he's so fucking fast. Dude, he's so cracked. He is so cracked. 28 to 7. I want to play defense, bro. Let me play some defense. 28 to 10, 28 to 17. Wait a minute. They're mounting the comeback. 28 to 25. Dude, they're really mounting the comeback. Nah, we scored 35-25. 35-32. Hey, damn, that was a slug out in our first ever playoff game. 35 to 32. Brock Purdy, 316, two touchdowns. Jalen Hurts, 297-4. Wow. Great game. I got to get Brock Purdy better abilities. He's a hard 99 with goofy-ass abilities. All right, divisionals against Denver. If we somehow get through this... I want to see the AFC Championship. Did we make it through? Nah, we lose there. Yeah, honestly, I didn't think our team was strong enough to get there quite yet, but we're definitely on the way. Free agency. So Zach Tom and Joe Tooney available. Joe Tooney has Superstar. Looks like he does want to play for our squad. Maybe we get him for two years. I think we bulk this offensive lineup. We get both of these guys? Hey, Zach Tom and Joe Tooney signed. Huge free agency. Just spent a lot of money on offensive linemen. We really did. I mean, this $38 million salary, $20 million salary, huge signing bonuses. But our offensive line is absolutely ready for a big push. And we just went 11-6. and six. We're only getting better. And uh, we've got the draft coming up too. So, hey, we had our money for free agency. I was kind of hoping to get a wide receiver though. I'm not going to lie. All right. I'm sorry, but the Chase Claypool fiasco is over. It's about time we traded for a legit wide receiver one and took this team all the way to the Super Bowl. So... Let's see what our options are. Theo Jackson, who is this? 25 years old, one year left. I kind of want like a guy that's not going to be too hard to get because they're older. CeeDee Lamb is 28. He's got a lot of value. He's 99. I don't think we're going to get a hold of him. But what about like, see like a Devontae Adams, kind of what I'm looking at, but he's going to regress a little bit too much. Addison's a 94 star. Good Lord. I wouldn't hate him. Amon St. Brown is a 99. Christian Kirk's a 92. A lot of good wide receivers. Jackson Smith and Jigba, Jamar Chase. Dude, do we go for Jackson Smith and Jigba? I feel like this would be a really nice fit on this team. He's 25, four years left on his contract. He's a superstar at 92 overall. I think we go Jackson Smith and Jigba here. Well, at least see if we can. I think I'm actually going to offer... I'm going to offer Josh Palmer, not Chase Claypool, because it, it still is the Canada team. So Josh Palmer in a first for Jackson Smith and Jigba. Will that do it? It almost does. Just got to sweeten this deal. Let's send a third rounder as well. Very close. Let's send a fifth and a sixth. Will that take me? It won't. Let's remove the fifth, add a fourth next year. We still need the fifth. This should be it right here. And a haul of picks for 92 overall superstar Jackson Smith and Jigba. We officially have a wide receiver one. He's 25 with four years left on the deal. So that's, uh, that's really, really good. Definitely going to be a superstar X factor on this team with how many uh, reps we're going to get him. Yeah, he's a beast, dude. And then, got to keep Claypool in the rotation. Not the biggest Claypool fan, but, you know, we've given him a lot of opportunities. <laughs> He's just undone shit with it. All right, Jackson Smith and Jigba. All right, so we still have a second round pick in this draft. Round two, pick 28. Let's see if we can make something happen with it. Just going to look for the best player available. Dan Cavanaugh to LSU. Middle linebacker. I'm going to go for it, actually. Caramo is eventually going to need a replacement. 6'3", 250. Normal dev, 85 speed, 87 excel. Nothing fancy. It is okay. We got in Jigbo. That's what we were looking for. Let's end this draft. And hey, let's go win a Super Bowl this season. That's what I'm hoping for. Hey, Dan Cavanaugh, 74 overall. No hidden dev, but 74 overall. Don't hate the pick. That's, whoa, holy shit. What? Oh my God. I don't know if I've ever seen this before. Two generational talents in the exact same draft. Mike Weeks, round one, pick one, an 80 overall outside linebacker from Arizona State. Tyrese Allen, an 85 overall wide receiver out of Michigan State. Nice. Oh, my God. I've never seen that. What a heater draft class. Granted, I was never going to have a round one, pick one, to pick this high, going 11 and six. But shit, if I realized how monstrous these guys are, maybe I would have traded up. All right, y'all. Here is the big season coming up. We got in Jigba. We got A-Chan, now a superstar. Brock Purdy regresses to superstar, but doesn't really matter, honestly, especially when he's already a 99. Schultz still looking good. McLean, offensive line, I will say, missing a center now, though. Matt Klein's our center. That's not so pretty. 70 overall center. We'll see if we can make it work. Still got Rainey, Vita Vea. Karamoa, Javon Holland, a Canadian native, superstar X-Factor on the Canada squad. Jamichael Boone is a superstar. 
83. Oh, that or he got Defensive Rookie of the Year, but still, Kyrie Elam, Joey Porter. Great team. Finally, a really high, really dominant overall. Let's give Devon Achan some nice abilities, and he'll be good. So, Persistent? No. Come on. Let's get the, let's get the good stuff in here. Let's give him Evasive. Let's give him Goal Line back, and let's give him Short Out of League. Should make him a stud. All right, y'all. We are ready for uh, Season 5. Looking really good here. I have high hopes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We barely snuck into the playoffs this season. 9-8. Okay. F almost 4,000 yards. 32-4 and four for Purdy. Another great season. A-chan. Another amazing season. 1,404. 11-25 and 11 in Injigba's first season as a Husky. Welcome to Toronto, buddy. Joseph Overstreet, 1,005. Dalton Schultz, 548 and 9. So, solid season. Defensively, Karamoa, loving what I'm seeing. Looks like we got to the quarterback a lot more. Javier Nails, 9.5 sacks. Rainey got home 8.5. Finney got home 7.5 and, and 6 out of Vita Vea. That's what I like to see. I'm surprised we went 9-8, and eight, to be honest. Our first game is against the Jacksonville Jaguars. You know, I'm not sure if I've ever made a Super Bowl as a 9-8 and eight squad, but if if this wants to be the rebuild, I do it. I won't complain. Oh my god, we smacked the shit out of the Jaguars. 45-9, to nine. now we take on the 12-5 and five Steelers. If we make it through this game, this will be the furthest we've gone in the playoffs, because we lost here last year. Oh my god. 24-14, we're taking on Casey. Casey is such a juggernaut. Casey is such a juggernaut. All right, boys, let's go. I'm going to play a few moments in this one. I want to give the Huskies a little bit of a... A little juice here. I'm going to rock the alternate unis. We've got Javon Holland X-Factor, Karamoa X-Factor, and Brock Purdy Superstar going on against Amon St. Brown, Aiden Hutchinson, and Witherspoon. Here we go, baby. Opening drive. Honestly, let's just let's just go Ishan, bro. We could go in all the way down the field. He's that good. Oh, maybe not. Nice. I'll take three yards out of that. Now let's hit him with let's hit him with a little play action. Let's see who's Jackson Smith and Jigba. He, I think he's in I think he's in man. There's in Jigba. There's in Jigba. Good catch, baby. That's why we traded for him. We gave up a first rounder, a third rounder, and a couple late round picks for him. So it better been worth it. Who's where? Oh, can I make this throw? Brock Purdy, you savage. To none other than the top three wide receiver, James Clyde. Nice work. We're going inside zone here. This actually has really good potential if we get blocks out of our wide receivers. No. Oh, I went with the high risk, high reward scene. It did not work. Damn, that's a bummer. All right, second and 14. Let's just take the boy, Dalton Schultz. Nice. Nice movement. Get third and six after a torn ACL. Oh, my God. He got him. All right, third and six. Big play. Devon A. Chan. He's too fast. He's too fast. Maybe not. He fumbles. Fourth and two. Are they going to kick this field goal? No. Come on, baby. It's the AFC Championship. We're taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. We got to go big or go home. Dalton Schultz. Love to see it. I'm not going to San Fran 49ers this and kick a field. All right, we're going to take our damn points. First and 10. Hey, there's in Jigba. Very tough catch. Second and five. Let's go with a little RPO here. RPO to Devon A. Chan. Okay. Good juke. Ooh, way to cut that up. Way to get vertical. Third and two. We're going to go back to double slants. I'm going to put A. Chan up. Oh, he's there. Will he hang on? No, he doesn't. Fourth and two. We're going for it again. Dude, I feel like Dan Campbell. I refuse to kick field goals. I really feel like Dan Campbell right now. This is a weird play call. I'm going with the pitch on fourth and two. Oh, there's too many bodies. Turn the ball. Damn. Probably not the best play. Chiefs march down. I get to play a little defense. That's been my first time using this defense. We got Rainey. We got Chanel, Karamoa. Let's look for a blitz here on first and 10. It is a pass. It's intercepted. Minka. We get the ball right back. What a play. Yo, that's crazy. And then the CPU gets me down into the red zone. First and 10. Hey, Minka Fitzpatrick. I knew that was a good draft pick, boys. Oh, clear, Dalton. Damn. The pressure is on. Foyasada Luicon. Damn. Coach, what are you thinking here? Coach wants gun flood. All right, coach. Whatever you say. Second and 10. Jackson Smith and Jigbo in the middle of the field. He's got a touchdown. The first touchdown of the AFC Championship. Let's get it, baby. All right, at this point, now I'll play one more rep of defense. I haven't really got to use this defense yet. Let's see what Karamoa's got. Desmond Ritter, superstar Desmond Ritter behind center right now. This is a pass. Karamoa's got everything. He throws it away. Second and goal. Great defense from the boys right there. Great defense. Overload three seam. I don't know if we have to do that. Let's just pass pro this. We know, we know he's passing. Checks it to the outside. Huge hit from Javon Holland. Third and goal. 
They're on the three. They could run this ball. Ooh, is this a pass? What do we think about this? What do we think about this? I don't know. We have nobody on the halfback. He throws it quick. Oh, nice play. Amonra St. Brown. Of course he's going to hang on. All right. Let's jump to the end of the game. It's seven to seven. Toronto puts up a field goal, then a touchdown, 17. Oh my God, it's so close. Kansas City puts up a touchdown. Two minute warning. We are down four. Game winning drive in the AFC Championship for Toronto. This could be Canada's first Super Bowl. Come on, man. Third and three, crucial pickup right here. Absolutely crucial. Come on. Come on, Brock Purdy. You're born for this, buddy. Right over the middle. Caught by the top three wide receiver. Canada's favorite, Chase Claypool. Oh, my God. That was so big, actually. How did he catch that? That was a horrible That was a horrible throw and a horrible route. And we got it. First and 10. What do we got here? Brock, find it. Chan, do not get sacked. What are you doing? Horrible play right there for Brock Purdy. Second and 24. We need a touchdown. That might have been the dagger. That could be so, so bad. He takes a check down here. We get out of bounds. There's a flag. Roughing the passer. Please roughing the passer. Roughing the passer! Deep! Oh my god, let's go! Well, unnecessary roughness, but regardless, that gives us a free first down. We needed that so bad. We are now in enemy territory. We need the time, though. We have to get the touchdown. Do you hand this off? No. It's a pass. It's over the middle, and it's missed. Just missed. Overstreet doesn't grab it. I don't know what happened there. Second and 10, I hope you're not thinking about play action. They're not gonna bite. Good. Little floater over the middle, caught by Overstreet. It's third and four, we're going no huddle. We gotta go for it. We absolutely have to go for it no matter what here. So this is, what? Dropped? How did you drop that? This is for the game. Fourth and four, game on the line. This is everything right here. Brock Purdy, fourth and four, find somebody. Don't get sacked, you have to throw it. You have to at least give your, your team an opportunity. That's just pitiful. You at least have to throw to somebody, man. That's depressing. What are we doing? This game's over. Technically, we have three timeouts, but... And the Toronto Huskies fall to the Kansas City Chiefs. Honestly, just sad execution there. We got a 99 overall quarterback. We're dropping passes. We're missing passes on the final drive. That's a bummer. That is a bummer. Desmond Ritter outplayed Purdy, too. Three touchdowns, one interception. Purdy had one touchdown. Yeah. Desmond Ritter, they, they deserve that win. We got to come back next year with a vengeance. Damn, so close, but so far. Let's try and pull it off next season. Oh my God, CD Lamb. Okay, I have 18 mil in cap space, so I can't afford this, right? I'd have negative cap. There's no way. It won't even let me make the offer, right? Yeah, shit, I can't afford him. Damn it. I have 18 mil in cap, CD Lamb. What a sick player in free agency. Tredavious White is available. Do you think Tredavious White's a guy that could like push us to that next level? I'm gonna pick up Tredavious White. Just on a one-year deal, I feel like he'll take this. It's not too much cap to ask. Look at Taj Hodge. Taj Hodge. Are you kidding me? What a fucking legend. I'm going to try and pick up Taj Hodge. So, Amani Finney's actually walking. Look at, look at the contract that Amani Finney wants. He wants 20 mil a year. He's an 85 overall star. He wants 20 mil a year. It's not happening. I can't, I can't pay him that, so we gotta let him walk. All right, on to the draft. Round one, pick 29. Pretty, pretty late here. I wouldn't hate grabbing a center. Doesn't look like there's any good centers available. Edge rusher, maybe? Strong safety, Edward Lindsay has elite jumping, elite agility, great acceleration. Don't really need a... I was gonna say I don't need a safety, but I'm gonna take the best player available, and I still whiff. That's a bummer. I'm gonna let the CPU do the rest of this one. This is not too important of a draft for me right now, or not really... In, in reality, I could have just traded away all those picks, to be honest. Probably would have been smarter, but I'm looking to the Super Bowl for this upcoming season. Draft recap. What do we got, baby? Hey, Edward Lindsay was a 76, and we got a 77 D tackle in the second round. Please tell me he's hidden depth. I love the CPU, man. CPU clutches up. Walter Reese, that's an amazing pickup for us. 72 tight end and a 70 halfback. Really nice work. Let's look around the whole... No fucking way. Dude, these back-to-back, -back, these last two draft classes have been insane. Another generational wide receiver, 85 Julian Peel, and an 82 outside linebacker this time. Dude, that is so cool. I, I haven't seen these in a while, so it's cool to see them now. All right, here's what we're looking like. Our potential Super Bowl season, I'm hoping. Zach Tom Tooney, Edwards Trent Wheeler on the offensive line looks great. And Jigba is a 96 now. We've got Jeffrey and Harris no longer have our goat chase Claypool. But we have one really good wide receiver one. A-Chan Purdy, 299s in the backfield. You can never complain about that. And we drafted a hidden dev tight end. I didn't even know that. So there's Reese. Rainey is now an X-Factor. Karamoa is an X-Factor. Holland is an X-Factor. Minka goes down to star. Then we've got Boone, Porter, and Tredavious White does sign in free agency. Kovacs is that outside linebacker. We're starting to lose players, though. We really are. Like, 
Players are leaving. Free agency's been tough. Cap space has been tough. We have a mill in cap space right now. So it's kind of all or nothing on this season. Otherwise, we're going to have to start the whole process over. Tell you what, though, we're a 91 overall. Should be a good season. Yo, dominant season. 14 and 3. Maybe we won some awards this season. Brock Purdy, third in the NFL in passing yards, 41 and 2. Is that an MVP season? It's got to be. 40 and 4 is Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett? I had to have won it. Oh, he had to have won it, right? Yearly awards, MVP, Brock Purdy. That's awesome. America's little brother gets coach of the year. And we are technically an AFC team. So let's take a look at this. Offensive player of the year, almost in Jigba and Brock. Defensive player of the year is Max Crosby. Offensive rookie, Telfer, Max Ward. Best running back. HN gets third. Let's take a look at the rest of our team. 14 and three is our best season by far. 1,514 for HN. Amazing. And Jigba, 1,516. Good Lord. Schultz had 13 touchdowns too. My goodness, this is an awesome season. Karamoa continues to be absolutely spectacular. Four interceptions and our free agent signing, Tredavis White, ended up being really good. Four interceptions there too. 111 out of Leo Chanel. He stepped up pretty big. Dexter Rainey got home nine times. Seven and a half for Walter Reese, the rookie. Damn, he almost, he really almost could have got defensive rookie of the year. He didn't because I already looked at it, but hold up. AFC defensive rookie of the year. Walter Reese came in fourth. It's a really good season for him though. I'm excited that the computer picked him up. That's huge. And Brock gets MVP. That should take him back to X Factor next season, but nothing for this season. All right, well, we get a buy. We got a buy in the wild card. So we're headed straight to the divisional. Our divisional game, as long as it's not... Fuck! I'm literally just going to say as long as it's not KC. 13 and 4 KC. Oh, boy. This time around, though, we have home field advantage. That is what I like to see. Let's see if it's enough. Please, dude. Please let me go to the Super Bowl. We went divisional. We went AFC. Oh, take me out of the Patriots. I love this. Patriots. I don't even know how the Patriots got here. I feel like we win this game. We've got Jalen Hurts at quarterback. We're the home team once again. Let's see if that's enough. The worst person to see in the Super Bowl would be Dallas. If I see anybody that's not Dallas, I feel really good about this. 35 to 0. We shut the Patriots out and we're taking on the Los Angeles Rams in the Super Bowl. All right, boys. We made it. The 14 and 3. No way. The 8 and 9 Rams made it to the Super Bowl. Is this going to be a cakewalk? Top three is Sauce Gardner, Josh Jacobs, and Alex Highsmith. They have the overall advantage. I've never seen a team like that. I'm really excited. Let's go, Toronto. Let's bring Canada a Super Bowl. All right, big third down. Let's make a stop. They have me coming in on defense. They got, they got Castle at quarterback. Do they run this? It is a pass on third and four. We can break that up. Nice catch. Nice catch. Move the chains. They got me in here again. I'm going to blitz Tredavious White and Karamoa. I'm going to hop on Leo Chanel. I got a lot to cover here, though. How are we getting no pressure? I just sent six. Second and inches. Big blitz here. Can we stuff this? Second and inches. Big stuff. Oh, it's a pitch. Get out there, Minka. Hey, who came across? David Ojabo. What an insane play. Third and one now. Dude, that was a monster play from him. I'm hopping on Minka to try and do that again. Blow this up if it's a run. Third and one. Is it a run? No, it's a pass. Right, no, no. Oh, but I broke it up. I did. I thought we were going to intercept it, but we broke it up. Minka, what a play. They're going for it. Oh my goodness. This is huge. Fourth and one. I can't accept any phone calls right now. This is too big. Broke it up. Leo Chanel. Or was that David Cavanaugh? I don't know who broke that up, but that was a huge play. Third and five. Insanely big play. All right, third and five. Can we keep this drive alive? I'm going to B. That's a tough pass, but he makes it into Harris. That is a depth wide receiver. Harris was an auto-drafted wide receiver, and now we're in the red zone, so they're going to let us stay on the field. I'm going A and weak side stretch, man. This is such a diabolical play, especially with a speed demon like HN. It's too good, man. It's just too good. Second and two. Great work. If it ain't broke, you don't fix it. Second and two. Let's go for it again. They're in the same formation. They can't seem to stop this huge juke. Come on, HN. The Texas A&M product. What a play. All right, it's seven to zero. I think at this point, I got to take my foot off the gas. I just let, gotta let the boys play here. Still seven to zero. Still seven to zero. No way. Now seven to three. Dude, is the Super Bowl gonna end seven to three? Of course it is. It's a Rams Super Bowl. Oh my God, we're in victory formation. Are we really? We shouldn't be. I guess victory formation and then we kick a field goal. Is that what we're going for here? I'm confused though, because they have, there's not enough. You can't, wait, no, yes, you can. You can win this game, I think. 
I don't know the math here right now for some reason. So A Chain gets a yard. Now it's third and ten with 47. Oh no, this game is over. I think I think we're Super Bowl champions. I don't know. I've seen a CPU mess this up many times. So I'm I'm not counting my chickens till they hatch. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Please, please do this appropriately. Please do not punt it. Please. Okay. I guess you can come out here and kick this. We have a superstar kicker. What? When did we get a superstar kicker? We just added three points just to say fuck you. There was no reason to kick that. Hey, the Huskies! Canada's first ever Super Bowl, the Toronto Huskies. With a defensive masterclass in the Super Bowl, 10 to three. Some huge plays from some, you know, some guys you don't really expect. Leo Chanel, David Cavanaugh, Jamichael Boone. What an insane game here. 10 to three. Let's look at the stats. Neither quarterback had a passing touchdown. On the ground, A-Chan had one through the air. Dobbs had 99. Dude, everybody was really quite quiet. Chester Jeffrey, Kirby Harris, Kerry Harris. Defensively is where we got this game done, though. Honestly, a crazy game. 10 to 3. We barely hang on. We got a ring, baby! Canada officially can hang a Lombardi in the Huskies locker room. That is so cool. All right, so the next thing to do is just put this on autopilot and see how the team does next year. See if they can do the back-to-back. I'm not gonna lie, it's insanely hard. I have done so many rebuilds, I have never pulled off a back-to-back. -back. Well, we went 10 and seven. I assume we went to the playoffs, right? At 10 and seven? Dude, that's insane. We went 10 and seven and missed the playoffs in the following season. The Broncos are playing the Cowboys. All right, well, let's take a look at the history of this league. So our very first season is 2023. And damn, the Broncos have been good for a long time. They beat the Rams in that first Super Bowl. Then it's Cardinals Jets. Then it's Falcons, Bengals. Then it's Broncos. Dude, Broncos dynasty is legit. Then it's Packers, Chiefs. Then we beat the Rams. And now the Broncos are back. And they just might get another one. Let's check, actually. Let's see if they get another one. Advancing to next week. And the Denver Broncos just got their third Super Bowl. Oh my gosh, that's really impressive. All right, let's take a look at our final Canadian roster. Coming in at a 91 overall, we have three superstar X-Factors on offense. That's Brock Purdy, A-Chan, and Jackson Smith and Jigba. We even have, oh, that's our kicker. Yeah, we drafted a superstar kicker. That's awesome. Really solid offensive line. 290 overalls on the right side and 87 on the left and 277s in the middle. Dalton Schultz finally regressing, getting too old, but we got Poole to take over for him as he finally phases his way out of the squad. Defensively, Dexter, he's a 99. Karamoa's a 98, but he's getting older. I don't know if we put this team in the best of hands because Minka's got to get replaced. Karamoa's getting older. Reese is great. Porter, Elam, Boone are all great. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how this team would fare, but hey, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, Toronto's got their Super Bowl. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a blast to make. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.